I collect all your blessings in the spirit of men who wait. I was in the city for a very long time and I was doing a lot of businesses. Unfortunately, none of my business worked out, so I came back to the village. Please, Chief, I want you to help me. I will do whatever you want me to do. Whatever I want you to do. Are you sure that you know what you're saying? Chief, I mean every word I said. I have suffered too long. I want to be a happy man like you. So, Chief, if you help me, I will ever be grateful to you. So what you want is uh, some big, big business, right? I don't mind, Chief. I will do any kind of business. All right, I'll give you a chance. Uh, I want you to go home, think it over properly. Yes, think over everything we've said here today. Then um, come back tomorrow. Hmm? Let me see what I can do. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How is your family? Well, the family is all right. Um, my wife took the children to the new schools this morning for registration. Mm. But my first son, Austin, you know very well, yes, is still in the township doing his business there. This is incredible. Mm. 
Do you really mean you have come with your family to stay permanently in the village? Um, more or less, you know, because of the proximity of the village to the township, right. development has come down here. We now have electricity, we have water. So I just thought I might as well settle down here in the village and oversee my cow business from here, and it's working. Interesting. It's, it's one could feel the sweet breeze of the city blowing into our community, an indication that in the future, our community will become a big city. As a matter of fact, even sooner than we expect. Only problem is it's been uh, raining here, cats and dogs, <laughs> since I came down here to settle. But uh, I'll get used to it eventually. Okay. It's all right. I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Mr. Chief, mm -hmm. I have actually come for us to put our heads together and see how we can help a handful of our people into the Ningo Kingdom. Mm -hmm. so I believe if we have an increased membership, mm -hmm. it will help us form a clique. Our people say, giddy giddy yes. which means yes. unity is strength. I agree with you completely. I've been thinking about it since I came back. As a matter of fact, many people have come to me to yes. assist them, get initiated <laughs> into our Nengo kingdom. But you know, because the demands are very stiff, yes. only very few people qualify. I agree with you. I have selected some. Hmm. And uh, I will present them at the next meeting. <laughs> I know what you're saying. You're right. It is not possible for the entire village to be initiated. Yeah, it's yeah, not just possible. It's not. On my part, I will come with intended members, you know, into uh, join the next meeting. Okay. Yes. Um, when we get there, we we'll put our heads together and sort a few things out. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Anacho! 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 Almighty Nengo. What must I do? Remember the instructions. It is your turn to renew the temple of the heart of Nengo. You must do it as soon as possible. It is your turn to bring the head of one of your children. You must do it. Here to renew the heart of Nengo Kingdom. Anacho, you are a host. Nengo, 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 I command you to appear in the Nengo Kingdom. offer you a fresh virgin. Accept a sacrifice of a fresh virgin.
I can't believe that. I was about going to see my in-laws when my wife told me. But there are some people that are in your compound. I couldn't believe this, Chief. Oh, Chief. I am sorry. I'm sorry, Chief. Be yourself. Be yourself, Chief. Oh. Chief. Chief. What is this thing that I'm hearing? That uh, Mena, your daughter is dead. How did it happen? It's okay. What, where will I start? We all ate our evening meal together. She told us a few stories. We all laughed. We went to bed. That's it. Was she sick? Mena. If she were ill, you would have known. She was playing here yesterday with her mates. Hi, children. How are we going to carry a child without a hand? Sure you now that after the meeting tonight, you'll all say a big bye bye to poverty. <laughs> yes, you have so much money, and in addition to that, power power to do anything you want. Can I ask a question, Chief? Yes, yes, yes. After we must have provided all you asked for for tonight's meeting, mm. how soon? Will it take the money to start flowing in? Oh, uh, as soon as the sacrifice is completed. Chief, did you say sacrifice? Yes. Will it have any effect or repercussion after we have done it? Uh, that question is for the chief priest to answer. Once again, this is about to embark on a journey, a journey to wealth, a journey to riches, a journey to long life and prosperity, a journey that will terminate in a farewell to poverty. Jonathan, step forward.
The converts are here, awaiting initiation. Have you told them what is involved? Yes, I have, Your Majesty. Now, can I have the requirements? Yes, Your Majesty. Dying the same night. Not only that, the problem is that the four of them died at the same time. Imagine our village losing Uda's mother, Okoro's son, Jonathan's wife, and the Kedia's father also died. Look, Izu, there is problem in this our village. You are right. Maybe our village is under a curse. So they have to be done. And uh, what we do is that we have to go and consult the elders of this village so that they can seek for a solution for this problem before we all die. 
let us go and see them. This event will not happen again. Just pray, I just praise you. Let's go. You have guaranteed me longevity. I owe you an obligation to make you this offering for as long as I have my life in your hands. Please accept this as the one for today. Tomorrow, I will come back to present you another one. This is the second time my business is collapsing gradually. What will my father say this time around? The last time he collapsed, my mother accused me of being extravagant. And my father said I'm not industrious. I absorbed all those blames because I don't want any problem, even though I'm innocent of all the accusations. Life is all about ups and downs. Stop crying like a baby. George, maybe I'm just destined not to be a businessman. Stop insulting yourself, Austin. Look at Jude. Jude. Jude that we all started business at the same time. Jude that counts in millions. Millions. And I have nothing to show. I've warned you for Christ's sake. Stop comparing yourself with Jude, Austin. Anyway, I've heard you. I've heard you. But one last thing I know is that I cannot accept the fix. I won't. I'll keep trying. I'll go back to my father again. That is, if you listen to my story and help me. I'm sure you will. Yeah, uh, bring that uh, with you, boy. What do you say this wrong? Don't worry, I'm gonna Alright. So yourself, okay? Lazing around. Don't you have a program? Why won't you go back to the city and continue with your business? Why? My business. My business has collapsed again. God. What do you mean by that? What happened to the three million naira I gave you two months ago? What happened to it? Six months ago you were here. You complained. I gave you two point five million. Then two months ago you came back here to say you don't know what happened to that money and I gave you another three million. What did you do with the money? What did you do with the money? Good day, ma'am. Good day, ma'am. Darling, what is going on here? Look at your son! 
He has squandered the three million naira I gave. You pleaded with me to give him that money. I gave it to him. Now ask him what happened to the money. Now look at him standing before me and saying, oh, business has collapsed again. This is what your son is telling me. Augustine, are you all right? Three million naira within the twinkle of an eye? This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, Augustine. You will not be able to lose us, Augustine. What has gone on with your senses? It's all right, much. it's okay. I don't want the neighbors to hear us at all. Do you know how much involves? Three million naira! It's all right. Um, go and prepare me my meal. Go on. Austin. Go on, go on. Do you want to kill us? Go on. Put some dry fish in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And reduce the quantity of salt. What did you do with the three million naira I gave you? I mean, Austin, what is wrong with you? You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Your mates did not enjoy your circumstances. At 25, you would have been a multi-millionaire. You blew your opportunity. Today at 31, you don't even have a choice car to drive around in, let alone build a house in the village. I mean, what is your problem? What have you been doing with all this money? Tell me. I, I think you're a very lazy person. Yes. I think you're a very lazy person. You just spend all the money I give to you in the company of women, drinking, smoking. Otherwise, what have you been doing with the money? No doubt. God is my witness. I have never gotten involved in such things. Never. That I'm beginning to think that riches do not come from too much struggle. Shut up. Shut up! Riches do not come from too much struggle. Give me three million naira. Let me plow it into my cow business. Come back in the next six months. I will give you another three million naira as profit. And I mean every word of it. As a matter of fact, the way I'm looking at you, you are likely to end up with money making rituals just to get rich. Yes, this you can't in business. Never that. I would. I have a conscience. I would never get myself involved in any form of rituals just because I want to make money. I would do that. that. I, I would. Uh. All right, right. Look, prepare to go back tomorrow. I'm going to give you money. But listen to me. If you squander that money again, don't come back here to ask for more because I will not give it to you. Have you heard me? Have you heard me? Don't let it happen again. Thank you very much, Dad. I'm very grateful. I, 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 I promise. All right. I'll make judicious use of this one. Can go. Thank you, Dad.
this live cock I am bearing in front of my shop will attract all the rich boys and men of this community. My shop will flow in like water. It will serve as a weekend resort for them all. See how beautiful your restaurant is. Why are you surprised? Have you forgotten whom we are? How could I? Our Majesty Ningo is walking. Very interesting. I'm happy you're learning fast. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's a beautiful place you have here. Thank you very much. Thanks to Lengo. Uh, gentlemen, let's get closer to our seats. Yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> You are drinking coke. Does your father know you are here? Does your father know you are here? You are drinking coke. Now look around. Can you find anybody here? You are eight, mate. Do you think this is a roadside beer parlor where I drink coke and eat biscuits? Come on, get out! Quickly. Out! Oh. You go and let some trade, or better still, take your jam and do something better with your life. Get out! <coughs> like this here? Do you think this place is for mad people? Do you think so? Now get out. Get out! Out. And don't ever let me see you here again, especially with that shape of head. Good for sacrifice. Go out now. Uh, let's proceed. Ugiri International. Tell your boys to... Prepare my bill. I'll turn to that right now. Okay, sir. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. sir. How much is my bill? Sir, your bill is uh, that's $8,400 naira only. That's 8400 naira only? Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, my brother. 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 Hey, my Hey, my brother. 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 Hey, Calculate everything, I will pay for them. You mean I should include even their own? I say calculate everything. Go, go, a row. Okay, okay. so it's now for 1,200 naira. It's now for 1,200? Yes, sir. If I don't have money, I believe I still have money in the car. Count this. Yeah, you can give the balance to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Enjoy yourself and be happy. Sir. Are you through, sir? Uh, yeah. Okay. How much is our bill? So your bill is uh, 29,159 only. Okay, no problem. Come back up. Uh. 
Maybe that's where the sat. Supposed to be Check recognized. Yeah. Okay. 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 must be recognized. The man backer. Oh, sorry, right, man. Sorry. But they want you. Be mindful of the kind of people who come here. Okay, sir. This place is not for minorities. It is not. It is for VIPs. I understand, sir. Let it not repeat itself. Sir, it won't happen again, sir. for your financial assistance. Uh, since you're my late husband's best friend, Jeff, please. My dear Stella, how much do you want this time to start off? <laughs> Jeff, um, a million naira will go for us. <laughs> my dear Stella, one million naira. <sighs> It's all right. Let me see what I can do. This is one million naira check. Oh, Chief. Check. You go to the bank and cash it immediately. Chief, thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. What would I have done without you, Chief? Thank you, Chief. Chief? Yes. Uh, would, you like, would you come to my house tonight? At least let me prepare a nice enough for you, Chief. From now till tomorrow, I don't have money. Mama! 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 Mama, I try to make her understand that the only money I have here with me is 1,500 naira, and I want to use it to buy fuel. And my you're a liar. You're a liar. I saw you yesterday counting money, and I'm sure that money is up to 30,000 naira. Where is it? Where is the money? Where is the money, Leda? <laughs> so it's true. So it's true what I've been hearing about here, Mega. So it's true, eh? It's true, Mega. What is it, Mama? What did you hear? You have frequent visit to Ogirizba, which are so called friends. And the, the extravagant way you are spending money with them there. Hey, Mega, is this how you want to live your life? Is this how you want to spend the money your father left for you, Emeka? The only thing I know you have achieved is this thing. This guy. Emeka, look at our house. Look at our house. You can't even renovate our own house, Emeka. I even built a new one like a mess out there, Mecca. Huh? They even told me that their shop in the city is empty, that there is nothing inside there again. Nothing! You 
that what you want? Eh? Emeka, is that what you want? If that's what you want, lavish your business capital. Lavish it! Then come back to the village and join me in the farm. Or better still, you can go and start tapping pan wine. Where you can have a mouth to drink, Emeka. It is there you just the real difficulties of life, Emeka. Ah, Mama, you don't understand. Listen, everybody. You must have to live here now. The people that own this town wants to eat. Am I not talking to you all? Or didn't you hear me? What is the meaning of that? And who are those idiots you refer to as the pillar of this town? What? What did I hear you say? By the way, who are you? <clears throat> well, if you must know, I am Ben Olisa, the chairman, chief executive of Pensy Holdings Limited. Do you hear that? Restaurant business is a very good business. After all, I run one, so I know what I'm talking about. There is nothing you want that you cannot get. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Thank you. I will pay the bill of everybody, including those who asked to go out. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. I'll tell you something.
decree that we, we decree that all the people who come here to eat, all the people who come here to eat, their lives, their lives, their progress, their progress, and their wealth, and their wealth, be converted to ours, be converted to ours, in the name of Nengo the Great, in the name of Nengo the Great. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the name of Great Nengo. In the name of Great Nengo. And all the money I lent to Stella must return to me tenfold. I'm a 
I am very happy with the women of this village and I have come to make sure that my happiness is extended to you people. Uh, this is just a small thing. I have enough food, enough bags of rice for you. There are fish, all kinds of things, both beverages inside the boot. And uh, let me officially tell you one, one of these things now. Any of you whose children could not go to school because of money, from today, I want you to come to me, give me your names. I am going to grant your children scholarship from primary school. <laughs> I'm very happy. God has blessed me. Yes. I want to see my people very happy. Yes. So follow me to the to my house, okay? Yes. Yes. What brings you on us to Mengo Kingdom? Your Majesty, Mengo Kingdom, I require assistance. What is it? The spirit of Mengo will hear you out. There is this young man named Joseph who depended very much on me while we were in the city. He has since come back to the village and is flouting his wealth at my expense. He spreads money. He distributes bags of rice. He shares bales of stockfish among the people. His philanthropy has so endeared him to the people that they now tend to worship him while looking down on me. Your Majesty, I need help. What is on your mind? I would want you to cripple his source of income. For Nengo to grant your request, there must be a point of contact. I do not quite understand you, Your Majesty. For us to achieve our aim, we need his picture or anything related to him. To enable us to fight him in the spiritual realm, they shall be provided, Your Majesty. Remember, Nengo is a jealous deity. Your wish is already granted. Your Majesty. 
can go. This is a fantastic building you're putting up here. Thank you, sir. Is it yours? No, sir. Um, I'm a contractor. The owner is uh, Mr. Ndoka. Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Yes, he's left down. Ah! Joseph! Joseph! How is it? It's okay, sir. Uh, what about the family? They're okay, and yours? Beautiful. Thank you, yeah. sir. Wonderful house you have here. We just talk uh, I was just driving past. I saw uh, it and uh, I thought I should actually look at it and compliment the owner. Thank you. It's, it's God. It's God. What can we do on our own? I mean, you, you must own all this land around here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's quite uh, some acres. Uh, hmm. We are building a uh, kind of Olympic size uh, Swimming pool just at the, at the other extension there. You got to. Yeah, we probably need to put a kind of penthouse, make it a, a double duplex. Mm. Hmm. It's going to be one of the biggest houses in this village. <laughs> this, <laughs> is this is good. This is good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, let me show you the swimming pool. Sir. Uh -huh. mm. uh, I like the stones you are using for this place. You know, this. Mm. Uh, this. This is wonderful. Where did you get these tunes from? Because my contractor. <laughs> He's trying his best. <laughs> Very intelligent man. Honestly. <laughs> Want you to bend? Just keep it straight. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. This is good. This is good. Yeah. All right. And uh, you own this Jeep, right? Yeah, this is my Jeep, sir. Yeah, this is not the one you were using before. Well, uh, God is increasing us. Yeah. God is increasing <laughs> us. <laughs> All right, Joseph. I just okay, thought sir. I should look in. Eh? Thank you, sir. All right, uh, you see, girl. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. You see me, girl? Okay. Uh -huh. You own this building. You own this big car. A small boy of yesterday. No wonder he's been distributing gifts and spreading money anyhow. In this village, Ningo will hear this. Ningo. Go on, building. <coughs> yeah.
So what you are telling us now is that the hardship has got to the extent of auctioning your goods and even selling your car. Mama, what would you have expected me to do? <laughs> Papa has given me money four times now. I have tried my hands on three different businesses and none worked. Mama, look, I have come to a conclusion that my destiny does not lie in trading. So let me try my hands on something else. Austin, what is your next plan? I mean, are you going to stay in this village? Oh, certainly not, Mama. I have this friend who lives abroad. He's promised to help me. Mm -hmm. As we speak right now, every arrangement has been completed for me to travel to Europe. You mean Europe? Yes, Mama. It's good. I support this plan completely. Yes, I mean, if it's witches that have been bothering you and dogging your footsteps, let me say they'll follow you to Europe. I like that arrangement. I like it. Mm. I mean, do you support him? Well, of course I support every move he makes. I mean, look at what his life has been. It's one failure after another. Let him try something else. Let him go to Europe. I believe he'll be better off there. I support him completely. Yeah. Completely. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Baba. Thank you. Son, Thank you. you have my blessing, son. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't worry, okay? Everything will be all right. Sorry, we miss you. It's all right, okay? Sorry. It's all right, Mama. It's okay, Mama. It's all right. Nengo Itedia, how far about that case with your business associate? Ah, I have settled the idiot. He's now resting where he should be. You mean? Ah, six feet. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that sounds him right. Yeah. Stupid fellow. <laughs> Just like that stupid idiot Okonkwo, who wanted to show me that he's wise. So what happened to him? I paralyzed him. <laughs> <laughs> nobody deals with Nengo's child and gets away with it. Nobody. 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 Nengo the Great. Nengo the Great. And one more thing I must tell you about Nengo. Nengo is very, very efficient, but can also be terribly jealous. If Nengo decides to back you, it backs you to the hilt. But if he decides to go against you, then you're sunk. So I want to advise all of you, if you made promises to Nengo, please don't hesitate to fulfill all those promises, particularly the one about annual sacrifices. Nengo the Great! Nengo the Great! We are here for the yearly sacrifice of our relatives. The first group did theirs yesterday. Today is the turn of the second group. May I have your donations? I sacrifice my second son, Anayo. I donate my wife, Ifatu. I sacrifice my younger brother, Ikem. I am bringing my youngest daughter, Sophia. I present my beloved younger brother, Ogochuku. I have received your sacrifices and your wishes are hereby granted. I am starting with your career. I summon the spirit of hope to appear in the Nengo Kingdom! Appear hope! In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you because you are great. I thank you because you are the lady of the valley. Father, be thou exalted, God. I know that whenever the children of God have gathered, that the devil is never happy. Oh Lord, my God, I know that he is not happy because he know that he will be defeated. Father, on those where I stand and I command, oh Lord, I come against every principalities and powers, every occultic powers, wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind and cast them into the pit of hell. Father, I thwart and edify all their power, all their plans and programs in the name of Jesus. Every natural evil, every natural they have gathered on Lord in their kingdom. I stand on Lord by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, come here! You want to defy this kingdom? 
give you one week to bring your sacrifice. Discussed with you? Yes, Daddy. Does that mean that uh, you like to marry him? Yes, Daddy. I love him and I want to marry him. I see. All right, you can leave us here. Uh, young man, you said your name is uh, Udoka, sir. And this is my uncle, Chubuka. I see. Good day, Chief. Uh, welcome. Udoka. I see. Uh, Udoka, what about your father? He is dead. Mm. And your mother? She's also dead, sir. So both your father and your mother are dead? Yes, both of them are dead. And you want to marry my daughter? Yes, sir. Don't you know that your family is cursed? Don't you know that? Yes. You can't marry my daughter. Go to an orphanage and pick up one of your type and marry. Chief, is this an abomination for someone to lose his parents? Don't you understand what I said? Go to a marvelous baby's home. There are many of your types there. Pick one of them and marry. Not my daughter. But, Chief. You leave my house, both of you. Consider us, Chief. This place is not an orphanage. Leave my house! No.
introduced me to and this is what I am today. I say a very big thank you to both of you. I am happy that you now have money. In addition to that money, you have power. Progressively, you begin to realize the influence you can wield with the power that you now have. Even though your wife is dead, the power that you now command will influence people so much that will be adequately compensated for the loss of your wife. Take heart Thank you, and welcome to the club. I don't know what to say. Yeah? I don't know what to say. But I believe one thing. Whatever goes up, 
must surely come down. Definitely. Definitely. Look at even who there, who lost his wife, gallivanting and celebrating the God has. Imagine the baby. Look, I will, I will not eat anything here. I'm afraid though. Imagine the baby. Has been a beggar. Throw him money. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Good. According to my friend Alhaj Sule, we are expecting about two treasure loads in three days' time. Mm. Okay, well, that's no problem. Um, how are you having these bags? The two bags contain about four million naira. Four million only? Yo, uh, how many cars remain? About ten cows. It appears market is bad. It is not all that bad. At least about two trailer loads are coming in three days' time. Mm. Yes. All right, take the money to the store. Uh, how about you? No, let's take this money to the bank because I'm robbers. Don't worry. Take the money to the store, nothing will happen to you. Uh, how about you? Hi. Are you deaf? I said, take the money to the store. I'm sorry, Shane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
to come and sit in Chief at our house. When you were coming here, I didn't know where you were going to. But by the time I am through with dealing with you people, you will never ever steal again. Not even in your dream.
Look, I don't want to see any of you again. Unless you get my money. Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Last night, how come 30,000 is missing now? What type of temptation is this? When my attendants were, I thought they were the ones stealing the money. Now they're no longer here. The same thing is happening. Huh? Huh? Mommy, where do you pack the drinks? Our customers over there want to drink star beer. What of the ones in the fridge? They have finished. Don't tell them to take a uh, uh, st uh, uh, stout, get a uh, gold or uh, 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 help. Mom, there's none in the fridge. And there's even none in the store. The farmer. Mommy. What are you saying? Hmm. You mean there's no drink in the store again? In fact, Mommy, all the crates and cutters hmm. are finished. The hey, farmer. Hmm? Go, go, go. Go tell the customers to go, 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 my head is cut. And here you are telling me you are confused. Now, this will be the very last time you will hear my soft tune. By the time I come back here for my money, you will get it hot. There is wickedness in the hearts of men, spoiling and destroying our land. Hey! But the wages of sin is death, it's true, they will surely pay for the evil they do. Save the righteous, destroy the wicked, the wages of sin is death, destroy the dogs of death and the wicked men, arise and save us, O Lord, save the righteous. I'm fine. You're going down. What is the matter with you? My brother Cletus, there's a problem. Problem? What type of problem? Ever since I completed the down floor of my house in the village, it's like everything clamped against me. My businesses are no longer moving. Cletus, I can't even afford first square meal. Talk more of completing the project that I started. I don't know what is happening to me. Joe, I want to suggest something. What is it? I suggest you go into another type of business. Since the one you're presently doing is not moving fine. Joe, I don't have money. I said, I don't have money. Where can I get money to start another kind of business? You have to manage. No matter how small it is. Who knows where, where the Messiah will come from? 
We have to manage. We have to manage. By the way, I was at your restaurant many times and didn't see you. What happened? Chief, there's a problem. That money that Jonathan loaned me for business has vanished. Vanished? <laughs> How? Chief, I'm confused. The worst is that Jonathan is threatening that if I don't pay him back his money, that he's going to seize the two houses that my late husband left for me. But I, I thought both of you were lovers. Yes, we are lovers, but you know, once it comes to money, Jonathan doesn't know what is called love again. I'll advise that if you can't find the money, instead of causing yourself hypertension, I give him all the houses so that you can sleep well. Chief, yes. Hey! Meanwhile, um, have this uh, 2,000 naira for yourself. Thank you, Chief. Jonathan has used up this woman and eventually turned her into a chronic debtor. Save the righteous, destroy the weekend. The wages of sin is dead. Destroy the gods of hell and the wicked men. Arise and save us, O oh Lord. I've come to tell you that I'll soon be coming with my people to pay for Tochi's bride price. She's almost five months pregnant. And we are preparing for our wedding. You're an impudent rascal. What an frontry. Are you out of your mind? I told you to leave this girl alone. You went ahead and impregnated her. And now you have the guts to stand in front of me and tell me about coming to pay the bride price of my daughter. Listen to me. If I close my eyes and open them and you're still here, vultures will devour you. And I mean every word of what I am telling you now. Don't you? Take this one. Remove that nonsense you're carrying there you call pregnancy. Chief! Are you alright? God forbid! Over like that, God will my daughter commit abortion. What is all this, Chief? What is all this for God's sake? Hey! Daddy! Daddy, how can you give your daughter your money to go and abort her husband's child? You're still here. You are still here! 
Please calm down. Please calm down, Chief. Chief, do you realize that Toji is our daughter? Toji committing abortion is risky. Chief, along the process, we might lose her. And you know what that means? I came in last night, sir. Good day, sir. Yes. Hi, sir. Enugu. Enugu is fine, sir. Um, Sudat, come and uh, greet my uncle. Uh, be careful so you don't hurt my baby. This is my time to revenge. Look at the idiot I wanted to marry. And her father refused. It's like she's pregnant. Yes. Just three months, sir. That's good. Oh, my daughter. Please come and hug me. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Make sure you take good care of my brother's pregnancy. I will, sir. Hey, Uncle, please, uh, we're just rushing to visit a friend. I beg to leave. It's all right. Try and come to the house tonight so we can have some cola. Definitely, I will. Mr. Benson, that your wife had a miscarriage is not the end of the world. 
So, what could have been the cause of this? Stress. Yes, merely stress. You see, once a woman takes in, she needs a lot of rest. But well, she has been resting. Nobody is stressing her. Let's pray it doesn't happen again. Never! But doctor, yes. when will she be discharged? Tomorrow. For now, she needs blood rest. Thank you, doctor. So. It's okay, it's okay. Just cheer up. Okay? We'll still make it. Okay? It's alright. Okay? Darling, what is the matter? Why are you so moody this afternoon? Hmm? Mochi. There is something I want you to do for me and the family. What is it, Chief? I want you to visit Tochi where she is staying with her boyfriend. How? Um, Chief Betty said you are not in support of the marriage. So, why the visit? I want you to go and bring her back. Chief, I can't bring Tochi back. She's pregnant. I can put to bed any time from now. I, I'm even preparing for the Amugo. I am talking to you seriously. And you are here talking flippantly about Omugo. I said I want you to go and bring Dochi back. It is either you do what I say or you leave this house. Darling, I will not bring Tochi back. You are my husband and I will not leave this house. Machi. You are being disobedient, you are being stubborn, you are talking to me anyhow, be careful, be careful, much be careful, I've warned you three times. Danny, I don't want to make trouble with you this afternoon, it is better I go to the market and buy some of uh, my Amogwa ingredients. Good day, Chief. In this world, men live like dogs, fighting and killing each other. There is wickedness in the hearts of men. listens to me. She talks to me anyhow. She disobeys me. And now my wife is doing the same. She no longer listens to me. She tells me whatever she wants and gets away talking to me anyhow. Very soon I will lose my authority in my own house and this I know you will not allow to happen. Come to my aid. Come to my assistance. My wife for daring to disobey me and talk to me anyhow, Ningo. 
I want you, wherever she is now, to make her mad. Strike her with madness. Make her mad completely. Let her be a raving lunatic. You will do that for me. I know you will do that for me. And I thank you, Ninga. Thank you. What of 250? Huh? You are my customer. What of 250? find out if you have found mommy. My husband and I have been looking for her, searching all the nooks and crannies without seeing her. Are you out of your mind? Am I your mother's keeper? What? You heard me, didn't you? I said, am I your mother's keeper? Daddy! Yes? You are her husband, Daddy. How can your wife run mad for three good months, Daddy? Three good months and you don't bother. You don't, you don't want to look for her. Instead, you're here asking me if you are her keeper. Daddy, if in the next two weeks you don't find my mother, I will tell the whole village that my mother is smart. Then you have to come out and tell them where she is. No matter how disobedient you may choose to be, you are my daughter. I am still your father, and you don't talk to me anyhow. What type of father do you think you are? Daddy, I am asking you. What kind of father are you? A father that has no conscience. Daddy, a father that has no feelings about his mad wife. Daddy, my brother and my sister died in this house within a period of two years. That did not bother you. You weren't bothered. You weren't concerned. Now my mother is mad. My mother who is your wife is mad, roaming about the streets. All you could do is to be going from one function to the other, attending ceremonies with all these people, all these men that I don't know what their mission is in this house. Daddy, probe your conscience. Search your mind. Always remember that our God, your God, and my God is the God of justice. I'm leaving. Go and get my mother for me. You're talking to me like that. You're talking to me like that? All right. Wait for me. Wait for me.
My daughter now talks to me anyhow. She now insults me at will. I want you to be to me. I want her to carry that pregnancy for as long as I want it. And this, I know that you can do for me. In the hearts of men, spoiling and destroying our land. Okay, okay. You have the guts to challenge me in our kinsmen's meeting. <laughs> I decree that today is your last day on earth. And you, Emenike. I visit you with stroke for daring to take a land dispute matter to court. <laughs> so you're here? Yes, you're here. Yes, I'm almost through. Some people are trying to play on my intelligence, but I'll show them. Anne knows the room back. Anne, you bought a jeep, so we shan't rest for you again in this village. You've been driving it round the entire community, disturbing us. Let me see how you are going to drive that jeep from now on. Lady Chinwe, each time I see you, you are laughing. You are dancing because your two sons are overseas. As if you are the only person that God created to train her children overseas. You are going to laugh. You are going to dance until you go mad. Then you will strip yourself naked and dance into the market and laugh into the market and continue dancing and laughing naked. As for you, my daughter Tochi disobeyed me. You insulted me. I have bottled up your pregnancy. You are going to carry that pregnancy around. You will never be delivered of that baby. And you will see. I see my chiefs, you are very busy. Jonathan, you're here? Yes. The heat is on. Things are getting better. Let me greet my enemies. Nego, your children greet you. Accept our sacrifice. Scarce. Did you travel? Hey, travel, my dear. I've been around. Ask the name You've not been seen for some time. My dear, you know I've been very, very busy. To be a married woman is not an easy thing, oh. Yeah. Hey, in fact, as you're seeing me here now, I am on my way to the market. Mm -hmm. I just want to go and get some certain things for my husband, Udoka. Hey. I'm so happy to see you. All right, take care. Bye bye. 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 Mm -hmm. I never knew Tochi could be so rude. How? 
Why did she tell us that she has put to bed? Eh? Who put to bed? Tochi. Didn't you notice her stomach? My dear. Tochi is still pregnant. What? You know she has been pregnant for over a year now. Yes. Just wait, eh? By next week, you will see Tochi with a full blown stomach. And the upper week, he disappears. So what is inside her stomach? My dear, I said I don't know. Maybe she's <laughs> carrying a calabar. <laughs> Mighty Lord, I thank you for the protection you have offered me all this while, and for the long life you have guaranteed me. But uh, there is one thing that still bothers me. What is it, Asam? We are approaching the end of the year and time for the annual ritual of sacrificing one's children to prolong life. I have sacrificed my children that are available. Those that are left are not easily available. My daughter, Tuchi, is living with her husband and my son, Austin stays overseas. I I don't know what to do. You, you don't, don't have to worry, worry our son. You, you have, have to use that, that your son staying abroad. But overseas is quite distant and it will not be easy to reach him. Besides, He's been there for long, and he must be a big man by now. It would be quite difficult bringing him back. We will bring him back so that you can pay your dues. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much for this food, eh? You're welcome. Oh. Eh, please, eh, I have another problem. What is it? You see, I want to go to the village tomorrow. I don't know if you can help me with money for transportation. I'll give you some money, Costin. But you still haven't told me what happened to you. Were you duped? No. Were you by chance imprisoned in the open quarter? I told you, we'll talk about it later. Oh! 
Thank God be great. Hey, <laughs> will nine. I'm, I'm very, very sorry now you get it. It was intentional, sir. I'm very, very sorry, sir. Now you get it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry now you get it. It was Thank intentional. God. It was intentional. I'm sorry now you get it. Please forgive me. Give. It was intentional now. It's all right. It's all it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please forgive me. Forgive. No, you, it's okay, you can go. You can go. Me I it is not your fault. It is the fault of our people who have refused to mend the road. Go. Just go. I mean I should go now. I say go now. It's I should go. Go, yes, go. Please now, I'm very sorry. Go now. Thank you. Go. Sorry. Go. No, no. You have put in so much money now that you don't even care. Yeah. Up to the extent of splashing water on me. Alright. We shall see. Name go with teach you how well to use those eyes. I can't see, I'm going blind. Somebody help! Somebody help, I'm going blind. Somebody help. I can't see, I'm going blind. Somebody help, I can't see. I can't see. Now you get it. No. Help somebody. I'm going blind. I can't see anymore. Somebody help me. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. I'm going blind. Somebody help. Somebody help me. Now you get it. Now you please help. last time you will let anybody into this premises without my express permission. Have you heard me? Yes, sir. I mean, if I wanted guard dogs to guard this place, I would have engaged them. But the point is, I don't like dogs. Austin. Yes, 
You look totally finished. Where are you coming from? I'm from Europe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't look like somebody who's just coming from Europe. Is this all your, this all the luggage you have? Well, Dad, it's a, it's a long story. Come on, what do you mean it's a long story? What, what happened to you? Um, at least I'm glad I'm back home. You see, Dad, everything I tried my hands on out there failed. So, I decided to come back home. In other words, you, you came back with, with, with nothing. Huh? Are you on drugs? No, Dad, I'm not. I, I, I don't understand. So, then what happened to you? Dad, I told you it's a long story, okay? When I'm properly rested, I'll tell you. Meanwhile, um, what about mom? Um, she's, uh, we, 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 we rest, we talk about everything. It's, uh, Condition bothers me. I'm not happy about the whole thing that is happening to you. You did a lot of businesses in Lagos. For many years and nothing came out of them. You later traveled to Europe and stayed there for many years and still did not achieve anything. You came back looking very strange. Austin, I am suspecting that something is wrong. We need to do something fast before your condition degenerates. Jude. Honestly. I don't know what to do. I am very confused. Please, if you have an, any idea of whatever we can do to help, please let us go ahead. Okay, Austin. I will take you to a man of God. Let us at least start with special prayers. If that will solve my problem. Yes. Please. I will appreciate it. Okay. Then come back this evening. Let us go and see the pastor. I will. I wish I could believe your story. My husband is not lying, doctor. Look at me, doctor. I am pregnant. And I know I'm pregnant like this for a very long time now. We have visited many hospitals, many prayer houses, without getting any good results. So, 
as you can see, at times her stomach gets smaller. At times it bodies out. Calm down, Mr. Doga. Let me examine your wife first. Just seven months old. Okay. Um, I would advise you, you don't upset her, since you wouldn't want her to give you a premature baby. No. The pregnancies. Um, I just gave her some routine drugs. Your next appointment is tenth of next month. Really? Yes. Let me prescribe some drugs for you. So you can go to pharmacy and collect it. Thank you very much. She needs to do kind. I don't believe anybody anymore. Shall we keep his next appointment? Which I don't know. Let's get to the pharmacy first. Please. How I That shall never end. So it has gone into the stage whereby your brother sold his properties, even his car. Just to offset his house rent? Mama Nebo, do you know that the Lamo sees brothers TV set and VCD? It's a pity, my son, that this means fortune will fail you in the city. Not to worry, no condition is permanent. You have nothing on us in this village. God will surely take you to that position. Amen. That height that he gave you before. Amen. Mama, I have no choice. I have no choice. My downfall still remains a mystery to me. All my efforts, all my sweats, Mama, all that I've labored for all these years gone within a twinkle of an eye. All I can boast of today is that I'm alive. What's the need of life? Be courage, my son. Be courage. Where there is life, there is hope. You gave us food in this village. You gave us shelter. Is it send the children to school? God will surely take you to that height, that position that you wear. He will surely take you there. Thank you, Mom. He will. Thank you so much. He will. This is my childhood friend Austin, whom I told you about. His name is Austin. Austin, Pastor Declan has lived with us in this community for so long now. 
Oh, Pastor, I'm so happy to meet you. See, my friend here, Jude, he has told me so much about you. And he's told me that you can help me. Pastor, please, I need your help. Well, Brother Austin, the good Lord who created you and I will never let us down. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you because you are a kind God. We thank you because you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. We send all thanks and praises, all glory and honor, all adoration, all power and majesty be ascribed unto the holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father Lord God, is there any way your children have sinned against you? Please do forgive and forget in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because you said in your holy book that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Because you said you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and other, I decree this hour that whatever the evil one has stolen from them, may he return it back now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Open your eyes. Our Lord is a faithful Lord. He never fails. It's always in control. I'll be in your house for special prayers. Let me check. Yeah, on Tuesday for special prayers. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Austin, you've heard what the pastor said. Yes, I heard what the pastor said. Uh, but, uh, Pastor, I don't know if my father would allow prayers in our house. <laughs> he is a faithful God. He's always in control. There's nothing to fear. Our God is good. I'll be in your house then. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Thank you. You're I got a hair all over. Hey, child. I got a hit in my mama. I got a hair all over. I don't have any you see this game? Mm -hmm. If you win me in this game, let my hand be like this. I will give you prostrate beating. <laughs> what I can say? Mm -hmm. What I can say? It's white. It's one, one, one. I have a level. I have a level. What about my kind of cocoa? I told you. I did not see this thing at all. I did not see this game at all, at all. How you will not see it? Next time you see me on board, just say that. I did not see the game at all. How you see you were sleeping? I can always win you. Wonders shall never end. Look at Joseph, our multi-millionaire. How can you be doing me this? He's down back to the village, drinking and playing draft with old men. That is what our people mean by no condition. It's permanent. Hey. I don't know why good things don't last. I don't know. Just imagine, just imagine, just, just imagine. 
I know the way this man used to help our people in this village. You are correct. Oh God, you are Please. correct. Have mercy on him. Please, God. Jesus Christ. You have sent us to bind powers of darkness, to lose those that have been set captive for, for this Jesus came. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are here today and we command that this family be set free. This family must be set free. This family must be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you because you are God in the name of Jesus. Have a father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who are you? And what are you doing here in my premises? Good morning, sir. I am Pastor David. I am from the Covenant Emancipation Ministry. And who invited you here? I did that. Augustine. Why? Now listen to me. Pastor, I'm a peace-loving man. And I do not tolerate any invasion of my privacy. I don't want to make any trouble with you. I don't want you to disturb me at all. I want you to go back the way you came, peacefully. And please, don't dare me. Don't dare me. I won't have to warn you again. Leave my premises. No, it's okay. So I can, I can you. What about Pastor, Pastor Declan? What about him? Okay, he's not around now. You know, I'm in charge of deliverance section in our ministry, so that's why we are here. Okay. Yes. Okay. But what's the problem? Is there any... No, 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 there's no... There's no problem, just go. So are we free to go? Go! Go, go, go. We are free to continue. Go. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Brethren, the earth is the lost and the fullest thereof. Yes. 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 The world and they that dwell therein. Yes. And Hallelujah. the Bible says one thing. Huh. At the name of Jesus Christ, Every knee shall bow. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Of things in heaven yes. and things in earth and on earth. Yes. And every tongue must confess yes. that Jesus, Jesus, yes. Jesus yes. is the Lord. Yes. Put it to God the Father. People of God who are singing, the walls of Jericho fell down and flat. Yes. We have to sing unto God. Yes. I want to open your mouth. Sing. And then the walls of Jericho in this family fell down. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody give me a song there? That the devil has kept in chain. You have sent us to bind every part of darkness. The Bible says that Jesus was made manifest that he might destroy the works, the works, the works of Satan. And so, Lord, right now we have come, we bless you, and we have come, Lord, to destroy every principality, every power, every witch, every wizard, every blood second power that is responsible. <laughs> Jesus, we declare that this family be set. A tree, a tree. How about what is that tree? How about what is that tree? Tree of people. But I command that this tree surfaces now. Let 
this thing is possessed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me The Lord said that there is a tree that is responsible for the anguish of this family. And I can see it. I can see a tree. I can see a tree. I can see a tree. Look at it. Look at it. Come on, look there. There are evil spirits around that tree. Hovering. Come on. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind them right now. And I put them on the chain. I put them on the chain. I put them. Come on, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Let every power of darkness right now repeat the chain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Brethren, we are majestic. We are majestically moving to that tree right now. That tree is the tree of evil. And it must be uprooted. It must be cut down this morning. In the name of Jesus. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. Let's move. Fire is consuming it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 For Augustine, get me a machet. Get me a machet. This thing must be cut down. This tree must be cut down in Jesus' name. Amen. Baba, baba, baba. Kari bobo sokoto. Gori na masakata. Gori na la masakata. Gori na masakata. Masakata, masakata. Masakata, masakata. Gori na la masakata. Gori na la masakata. Gori na la masakata. Sing the rich masakata. Sing the rich. Gori na la masakata. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have it. Amen. Amen. At the count of one, brethren, and in the name of Jesus Christ, I want this tree down. I want this tree to be cut down. One, cut it down. Don't touch that tree. Don't touch that tree. That tree is my life. What? God? Yes, son. That tree is my life. Don't touch it. Don't touch that tree. Cut it down. Where are you 
going to? I am going somewhere. What will I tell the elders whom you ask to come back in the evening? Eh? Tell them I had an emergency call. What type of emergency call now? Tell them I have traveled. Chief, how can you travel dressed like this? Huh? Stop asking questions, Ugoma. I will see you when I come back. <laughs> to make Fred, please stop cut that tree I shall die go on what do you want to confess go ahead and confess I belong to the cult the Lengo cult and we sacrifice our families to extend our lives. August and I, I ruined your life. I killed your business. I made your mother mad! <laughs> yes, I did. of your cult. Two days. 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 Two days.
It'll be dead. That force still remains a mystery to me. All my efforts, all my sweats, Mama, all that I've labored for all these years, gone within a twinkle of an eye. All I can boast of today is that I'm alive. Dad, how could you be so wicked? So wicked! You killed my brother Alaya! And my sister Lena! And you died, don't you, pregnancy? And then my mother man, you forgive God <laughs> for what God has it. you to leave this family in the name of Jesus as this tree is being cut down. Gods have a message for you. What is the message? Is it the gods said that this man cannot be buried in this our land. Hey! I... 
because they have rejected his body. The gods decree that his body be taken into the evil forest. What? That is the message of the gods. Is happening here <coughs> and uh, who died Thank <laughs> you. 